So here we're given this inequality 2x minus y is greater than 4 and we have to find the quadrants in which uh, all the points that satisfy this inequality fall. So one way to do this is to just uh, draw out uh, the region where this inequality is satisfied. So I'll first uh, write the corresponding equation of line form. So I'm going to move the y term to the other side. So this becomes 2x is less than y plus 4. I can rewrite it in that form. So this means y is less than 2x minus 4. So the equation of the line that this inequality corresponds to is y equal to 2x minus 4. And I'm going to draw this roughly um, in the xy plane. y coordinate is minus 4, so it would be somewhere here. And then its slope is 2, so it's going to go something like that, positive slope. Now, this line is going to divide this plane into two regions, one where it would be y is less than minus 2, y is less than 2x minus 4, and the other one would be y is greater than 2x minus 4. To determine which part, we'll use the origin. So we'll see which one of these two inequalities the origin satisfies. So if I replace y and x with 0 here, is 0 greater than minus 4? We say yes, which means that this point satisfies this inequality, which means that that section is y is less greater than 2x minus 4, and the other one is y is less than 2x minus 4, which is the same as the original uh, inequality. So that this is the solution, this region, this half plane is the solution to the original inequality, which is equivalent to that. And we notice that the points fall in quadrant 1, none in 2. Uh, and yes, there are points here as this line continues in quadrant 3 and in uh, quadrant 4 here. So 3 here, 4 here, 1 here. So the answer is 1, 3, and 4 only, which is answer choice C. Um, the other way you can do is you could also just pick points here um, and to see uh, if you can eliminate uh, these quadrants by testing the points. Now, you'd have to be careful, meaning you'd have to test if, if you end up a, choosing a point here, that may not tell you whether uh, this goes through quadrant one or not. You would have to have a point here and a point there. So there's a little bit of a, um, I guess, unpredictability when you're substituting numbers. But uh, what I showed you is the direct approach and uh, would be faster in my opinion. So the answer is uh, C.